The next step is to add a pattern of decorative beads around the upper edge of the revolved base. I'll start with the semicircle sketched on the front plane. To sketch the semicircle, I'll start with a line on the silhouette edge of the base. Then I'll add a circle centered on the midpoint of the line. I'll add a diameter of dimension of 0.24 inches and then trim the circle. To fully define the sketch, I'll add a 0.1 inch dimension from the center of the semicircle to the top edge of the cylindrical face. I'll then create a revolve to generate the first bead. Before creating a circular pattern of beads, I'd like to mirror the first bead to the lower part of the base. To create this mirror feature, I first need a reference plane or face located halfway between the top and bottom of the base. This can be easily created using the mid-surface feature. You can find this through the menus at Insert, Surface, Mid-Surface. I'll select the two flat faces on the top and the bottom of the base. When I do, the faces are added to the Face Pairs selection box. The position can be changed, although in this case, 50% will create the surface I'm looking for. I'll click OK, and the mid-surface is created. The mid-surface is an underused feature. While a plane cannot be created midway between two flat faces, a mid-surface can be. This makes it a good alternative for creating planes because it can be used for many of the things a plane can be used for, including mirroring, which is what I'm about to do. I'll launch the mirror feature, selecting the mid-surface as the mirror plane, and the bead as the feature to mirror. To complete the bead pattern, I'll use a circular pattern with 74 instances to create a slight overlap between the beads. I'll hide the mid-surface. and collect all features into a new folder called Vines and Beads.